Well, that's what we're going to explore today. We'll examine the perks and struggles of holding a fortune in India, and we'll see some of the most exorbitant purchases that have taken place in India. So, let's get started. While China and the United States have been battling it out on who houses the most billionaires, quietly over the years, India has been ranking in more and more members into the uber elite class. According to Forbes' most recent look at countries with the most billionaires, India now has 140 billionaires. But what is life like for the rich in the Asian country? Yet, at the same time, the wealth gap between the rich and the average Indian citizen is increasing. Between 2010 to 2017, India was reportedly adding a new billionaire into their ranks every 33 days on average. Back in 2000, the nation had only 9 billionaires. In 2017, the nation had 101 billionaires residing within, beating Germany which has 136 billionaires. At the time of the list being published, India's richest held a collective $596 billion between them. This was a 90% increase from the previous year when it was $313 billion. The person that tops India's richest list is Mukesh Ambani. He made his fortune being the majority shareholder and chairman of the conglomerate Reliance Industries. The company also created one of the country's biggest telecommunication companies, Geo. Due to all this, at the time of writing, Ambani has an estimated net worth of $79.7 billion, making him the richest person in India and in all of Asia. Currently, the second richest person in India is Gautam Adani and his family. The majority of his fortune stems from being the founder and chairman of Adani Group. At the time of writing, he and his family have an estimated net worth of $55.9 billion. The industrialist Chiv Nadar made his cash from co-founding the IT firm HCL Technologies. To forming HCL, Nadar is currently the third richest person in India. He also owns the coal mine Abbott Point, Mundra Port, and has a 74% stake in Mumbai International Airport. On top of his business acumen, Nadar has also funneled a reported $662 million into his Shiv Nadar Foundation. At the time of writing, he has a net worth of $25.6 billion. On 2015, it was discovered by New World Wealth that India had the second highest number of millionaires leaving their country. Number one was China. 2019, 7,000 millionaires left the country for newer pastures. The top countries that Indians thought about going to include Canada, Portugal, and Austria. As for the expensive items that India's richest have splashed the cash on, we first have Antilia Tower. It's billed as the most expensive home in the world. According to one of the architects on the project, the construction cost nearly $2 billion. Yet, there's been claims of it being as high as $5 billion. So, with a title like that, of course it's the home of the richest Indian national, Mukesh Ambani. With 27 stories, the tower was constructed in 2010 and overlooks the city of Mumbai. Some features include three helipads, a 50-seat cinema, nine elevators, and a grand ballroom. When people from loaded families get married, they like to go all out when it comes to their special day. In 2016, Brahmani, the daughter of Gali Janardana Reddy, was getting married, so they held a five-day lavish wedding. Altogether, the event reportedly cost around $74 million. This drew the ire of Indian citizens as this happened during a cash flow crisis. Brahmani's sari is said to have cost $2.5 million, while the jewelry she wore amounted to $13 million. Then in 2018, there was the Ambani Piramal wedding. Isha, the daughter of Mukesh Ambani, married Anand, the son of billionaire Ajay Piramal. A number of celebrities were guests, including Hillary Clinton, Deepika Padukone, and Sachin Tendulkar. Even Beyonce was there to perform. There were reports that the wedding cost up to $100 million, while others claim it was closer to $15 million. The managing director and chairman of the Raymond Group, Gautam Singhania, had his net worth estimated as high as $1.4 billion in his career. He happens to be one such billionaire that has a plane. At the time, these jets cost up to $21 million. In 2016, he reportedly owned a Bombardier Challenger 600. Mukesh Ambani's reportedly rose as much as $15 billion, while Gautam Adani's net worth increased by $13 billion. 
The recent global situation has worked in India's billionaires' favor. In the space of a year from 2020 to 2021, a number of wealthy had their net worths increase massively. By the end of 2020, the top 1% of earners reportedly controlled 40.5% of the nation's wealth. 